And he then went on to attack me concerning um, the Old Testament. So he said that the Old Testament showed violence, Joshua going in, killing women, children, etc. But in Leviticus 18, 25, 28, Leviticus, Leviticus 20, 22, Deuteronomy 18, verse 9 and 14, 2 Kings 21, 9, God used the Jewish people to judge the nations. Abraham was told in uh, Genesis 15 that there would be a people 400 and odd years later that would go into Canaan, but he's giving the people of Canaan time to repent. So when uh, Joshua marches into Canaan to do battle, those people had had 400 years to repent and they were doing child sacrifices, raping and pillaging for 400 years and God brought judgment through the people, uh, through his people. But I said, is it descriptive or prescriptive? The Old Testament is not prescriptive. It's not there for us to obey these battles. It's there to describe the redemptive history about the Messiah coming into the world because when Joshua goes into the promised land there is where the Messiah would be born so it was important that that land be taken because Jerusalem would be the place where Jesus was crucified Bethlehem would be the place where he was born so that land was part of the plan of the Messiah coming to this earth now he attacks the Old Testament but we find we find peace, bodily health and stability in Leviticus, Leviticus twenty six six, welfare two Samuel twenty nineteen, family relationships Genesis twenty nine six, friendship Genesis forty three twenty seven, encouraged to pursue peace Psalm thirty four fourteen, uh, to encourage spiritual peace. Number six twenty six, and if there is war in the Old Testament, is to encourage peace Psalm twenty. 72 verse 7 and ultimately the Old Testament is pointing to the final person the Messiah who is the Prince of Peace in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 5 and 7 Micah 5 4 5 the Old Testament that he was attacking is encouraging us to look to the Prince of Peace who is Jesus Christ Isaiah 2 4 but when he comes beat our swords into plowshares and our spears into pruning hooks Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war any more. Uh, Matthew 5 9, Jesus said, Blessed are the peacemakers. Matthew 5 39 44, Whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Matthew 23 37 40, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Of these commandments help the whole law of the prophets. Matthew 26, 52, put away your sword. Jesus said to him, for all who live by the sword will die by the sword. Luke 22, 49, 51, John 18, 11. Luke 6, 27, love your enemies. Romans 10, 15, the gospel is the gospel of peace, which is to be preached. Acts 10, 36, Ephesians 6, 15. So the Christian is to preach the gospel. We're not to go out and start kicking off and, and having wars. Romans uh, 12, 18, if it possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. 2 Corinthians 13, 11, live in peace and the God of love and peace be with you all. So all this is very encouraging about peace. Colossians 3, 15, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. 1 Thessalonians um, 5, 13, 16, live in peace with one another. See that no one repays evil for evil, but always seek after that which is good for one another and for all people. 1 Peter 3.11, seek peace and, and pursue it. Uh, love one's wife, 1 Peter 3.7, Colossians 3.19, husbands must love your wives and never treat them harshly. Ephesians 5, a man must love his wife as Christ loved the church and be willing to die for her. Jesus teaches instead of violence to suffer, Matthew 5.38-39. Instead of vengeance, forgiveness, Matthew 6.14-15. Uh, instead of greed, sharing, Luke 12, 33, 34. Instead of domination, service, Luke 22, verse 24, 27. Instead of hatred, love, Matthew 5, verse 43, 45.
So we have the cleansing of the temple when God got, Jesus goes in. That was because of the corruption. It was righteous anger. It's not wrong to be angry. If you see someone being raped, you have a right to be angry at that. And Jesus saw God being raped by men who were in the temple and using the temple as, as a harlot, a place of harlotry, uh, making money and greed rather than worshipping God. And, and Christ was angry and he had a right to do that, to turn the tables over. And if we look at uh, the soul passage in Matthew 10.34 that Hashim was referring to, uh, Matthew 10.34 It says, Think not that I have come to send a peace on earth, I have come to send peace but a sword. For I have come to send a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her in-law. The man's fall shall be they of his own household. So that's an example of a sword passage that Adin Rashid was alluding to as if it was encouraging violence. What it's saying there is when the word of God comes into a family's life and a person becomes a Christian, it's like a sword because the word of God is a sword. And people in the family will be angry against it. Just like uh, when Christians were converted in China, Chairman Mao got children to denounce their parents who were Christians. You know, that's what he's on about. The Lord's on about it. The Christian life is like a sword. It cuts through family life. Some, you know, there are Muslim people who become Christian and then the Muslim family get really angry with the, 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 the convert to Christianity. Christianity brings a sword in that way. It's a spiritual sword. So uh, Adam Rashid is, is using these sword verses, which are just two or three, and bringing them out of context and realizing that there the are issues about spirituality. And then he was on about another sword verse, which I said was about the end of time. And it's, re it's in reference to hell. Hell is a real place and he, uh, and he shouldn't be against that. So we've countered Rashid on a number of fronts here. We've looked at Muhammad specifically and shown that he's not a good character. Two, we've looked at the sword verses and the history of Islamic extremism and how a survey has shown that they see uh, the way to interpret the Quran in, in a more violent way is the best way. We've seen, uh, we've countered Rashid's using the sword verses, we've shown we countered his argument about the Old Testament and we've continued the theme of how great Jesus is and the wonder of Jesus and how peaceful his teaching is and even in the Old Testament there's a lot more about peace than, than uh, Rashim would give credit. So I hope this is seen, I hope you're seeing this that this is a very very scholarly rebuttal of Adam Rashid. Um, so we've got a bit more scholarship now. And this is from Dan Gibson's uh, book, Quranic Geography. And he is a massive scholar, absolutely massive scholar. So all the scholarship that you need, all the scholarship, and this is my final parting shot at Adin Rashid. And, and this is proper scholarship. This is amazing scholarship. Right? So this is my final parting shot. Now, so you can get this from Appendix A, Timeline of Early Islamic History in Dan Gibson's book, Quranic Geography. Dan Gibson's book, Quranic Geography, Page 382, Appendix A, Timeline of Early Islamic History. Blow your mind. He says 551, July 9th, massive earthquake strike Beirut region and destroys buildings throughout the Middle East. Petra su suffers earthquake damage 
570 birth of Muhammad, year of the elephant. Mecca attacked by Yemenis with, the, with an elephant. 576 death of Ami, mother of Muhammad. 578 death of Abdul Muttalib. 583 Muhammad's journey to Syria with Abu Talib. Muhammad is 14 years old. 589 civil war. The Quraysh fight the Kinan. Known as sacrilegious war. So now this is documented by Dan Gibson. So he's done the research here. We're on uh, page 383. So in the time of Muhammad's youth. Where he's a young man. He's witnessing civil war. Muhammad uh, in 593 works for Kajid. In 595, Muhammad marries Kajid. Muhammad is 25 years old. 605, rebuilding of the Kaaba. Muhammad is chosen to place the black stone. Muhammad is 35 years old. Now, interesting, in 605, he's now involved in serious, serious politics when he's involved with the Kaaba of that time because the Kaaba, uh, there was a lot of uh, tribes vying for power concerning uh, who ran the Kaaba. 610, he had his so-called first revelations in the cave of Hira. Muhammad is 40 years old. 611, uh, Kahadijan submits to Islam. 612, first ritual of Islam prescribed. First believers. 613, Mount Safa declaration, public preaching. 614, some Muslim migrants to Abyssinia. Persecution begins. 616, second migration to Abyssinia. 617, boycott of the Hashemites and Muhammad by the Qureshi. 618, satanic verses given. 619, boycotts lifted death of Abu Talif and Kajin, known as the Year of Sorrow. So the early years of Muhammad, he didn't have the upper hand. He, he only had a few followers, so he got persecuted. He couldn't do much about it. So this is a documentary history of the early Islam now. 620, visit to Talif Asas, extension to the heavens, so called. 612, Hijrat migration to Medina, first year in the Islamic calendar, first Friday prayers, marriage with Aisha, raiding begins. Raiding begins. So, now 622, we see the first ra caravan raid by Muhammad's people. 624, Battle of Badar, campaign against Banu Kayanagu, Zamzan, is covered by a tent, several assassinations carried out. 624, Battle of Badar, violence. 625, Battle of Ud, first Ed al Duhur celebrated expulsion of Banu Naru, Jews from Medina, more raiding. There's more caravan raiding going on. 627, Battle of the Trenches. The enslavement of Nabu Karaza. 628, Treaty of Hudania, Battle of Kayabar, further raiding ambassadors sent to neighbouring nations. 629, Battle of Mutta, conquest of the Holy City, Battle of Unya, Battle of Atwas, Siege of Tayef. 630, Expedition to Book, more raids. 631, more raids, people of Thadib adopt Islam, raiding continues. 632, rebellion in Najran, farewell pilgrim to the holy city, death of Muhammad, Abu Bakr assumes power as caliph. 633, battle of Duhu, Kus, battle of Duhu, Husu, battle of Buskada, battle of Safar, apostles dealt with, apostates dealt with, Yemen and Bahrain dealt with, Battle of Madur, Battle of Waljar, campaigns against Banu Tamil, Tamin, 633. So if you want scholarship, Adin Rashim, you're getting it today, bro. Uh, 634, Conquest of Yarmouk, 
Bosra, uh, Firad, Damascus, Battle of Ajidin, Bazin of Tiberius, uh, Khalid's Pilgrim, Death of Abu Bakr, Umar ibn al Qadad, assumes power as the second caliphate, Battle of uh, Namrik, Battle of Sakataya, 635, Battle of the Bridge, Battle of Boyaya, Battle of Fire, Battle for Kadishia, Jerusalem taken, Basra built up, 636, Conquer of Hims, uh, Quinazri, Caesarea, and Gaza, Battle of Ajnanya, Place of Prayer built in Jerusalem in 636. 637, Conquest of Syria, Library at uh, Kenenon, uh, Saitiphon burned. 638, Conquest of Jazria, uh, 637, sorry, Conquest of Syria, 638, Conquest of Jazia, 639, Conquest of Kazun, Advanced into Egypt, Plague of Emmaus, 640, Battle of Babylon in Egypt, 641, Battle of of Nazwad, conquest of Alexandria in Egypt, 642, conquest of Egypt, library in Alexandria burned, mosque built in Fustaf, ex Egypt, but is rebuilt in 634, 637, 643, conquest of Azerbaijan and Tabaristan and Misdaran, 644, conquest of Fars, Kermin, Sistan, Macron, Carisian, assassination of Umar. 646, campaign in Kazurin, Armenian of the Asian Minor. 647, campaign in North Africa, Constructus of Cyprus. 648, uh, campaign against the Byzantines. Uh, 651, first Muslim envoy arrives in China, Yongbo reigns and says that his king is the second caliph who had ruled for 34 years. 652, disaffection against the rule of Uthman. 655, naval battle of the mass against the Byzantines. 656, Uthman is killed. Uh, Ali Aben Abu Talib becomes fourth caliphate, battle of Kamal. Battle of Stiffen, 657. 658 Battle of Narwin 659 Conquest of Egypt by Moyawe 660 Ali recaptures Hijaz and Yemen from Mohawi Mohawiya declares himself Caliphate of Damascus 661 Ali assassinated by uh, Karijis 662 Raids on the Byzantines 633 Kajeris revolt Continues to raid on the Byzantines. 664, six, invasion into Byzantine territory. 665, six, Basra governed changed several times. 667, six, campaigns against Antakya, Antioch. Raids against the Byzantines. 668, uh, six, six, raid on Sicily. Various sea raids continue, campaign against Antakya. 669, six, raids on the Byzantines continue to sea raid. 670, six, raids on the Byzantines continue to sea raids. Hassan bin Ali, second Imam of the Shiites, is killed. Hussan ibn al Uqan, Imam, Shiites, 671, raid against the Byzantines. U bin Ali, executed, advancing North Africa. Uba im Naf, found the town of Karusan in Tunisia, conquest of Kabul. 672, continued raids into Byzantine area. The Byzantines are being slowly weakened and pushed back. 673, roads conquered, campaign in uh, Kurzan. 674, island near Constantinople, Constantinople taken. Uh, 675, Muslim crosses the Oxus, Bukhara becomes a vassal state. 676, continue campaign against the Byzantines. 677, continue campaign against the Byzantines. 678, continue campaign against the Byzantines. Occupation of Smarkand, siege of Constantinople. 679, continued against Campaigns against the Byzantines. Battle of Kar uh, Karbala, 680. 681, death of Murayyad ibn becomes caliph. Hosan ibn Ali is killed. Ali ibn Hosad becomes Iman of the Shiites. 682, North Africa. 
Oban Ibek marches to the at the at Atlantic is ambushed and killed at Biskara. Muslims evacuate Karusan and withdraw to Burqa, discontent in Medina. 683, Abud Imen declares himself the Caliph of the Holy City. Usan Ibn blockades the Holy City, death of Yazin. Syrians withdraw, uh, Muayyad II becomes Caliphate. Cab, uh, the Kaaba damaged by ballista stones of the veil and roof burned with fire. Walls are then demolished and Kuba places the black stone on silk in contemporary stand. 684 Battle of Marj, Rashid, Basra and Kufa become centres of rebellion. Marwan first becomes the Caliph in Damascus, death of Marwan. Abin Malik becomes Caliph in Damascus gathering at uh, the Hussein's tomb. The Azad revolt Kufa rebels al Bukhar Bakhtar revenges against the murders of Hussein bin Ali al Mukta declares himself as the Caliph of Kuba, al Muqtad sends an army to the Holy City. We've got pages and pages of it here, bro. Do you want more of this? I could go on and on and on. I'll, I'll show you. See the crosses? There's so many of them. Battle after battle. Look at the crosses, the swords there, battle after battle throughout the history of Islam, right up to 717, battle after battle, battle after battle, right up to 750, battle after battle, I could go on and on and on, battle after battle, battle after battle. Battle after battle. Battle after battle. Who doubts that Islam is not violent, according to this scholarship? So. It goes on and on right up to 1020. Battle after battle. So that is academic scholarship from Dan Gibson's Quranic Geography. And you can go and look at his research and the guy is absolutely meticulous in his research. Now, I just want to go a few a bit through a bit of that scholarship. Here's another list here. All right? These are some of the battles that Muhammad and his followers were involved in. Notice this. We have place or person attacked, led by and purpose. 623 Wadan Muhammad robbing. 623 Lower Yitta Al Mara, led by Ubad Bal Arim robbing. 623 Al Isan on coast, led by Hamza B. Abdul Mutalib, purpose robbing. 423 Bowat place or person being attacked led by Muhammad purpose robbing 623 Osara attacked by Muhammad purpose was robbing 623 Al-Qaeda led by Sayyid Abu Waqas purpose robbing 623 Safwan raid on Badar led by Muhammad revenge recapture goods 623 Nakala Baran place attacked led by Abdul B Jashib spying and robbing 624 Battle of Badar Muhammad intended robbing met army 624 Abba al Ashraf Muhammad B Malama murder 624 Al Karada the place attacked Zayed B Harithi robbing Zayed B Aritha Led the attack, purpose robbing. 624 Bani Salim, led by Muhammad, robbing. 624 February Bani Quintinia, Muhammad, place attacked Bani, person Muhammad, kill or expel Jews. 
64, Sawik, led by Abu, robbing, 64, place attacked Kahafton, led by Mohalib, purpose Robin, 64, Baran, place attacked, led by Mohammed, Robin, Ud, place attacked, Mohammed, battle of defence in a war of aggression, so we're being honest, we're, we're giving him credit, uh, June, ba in 65, Banu, Nada, Mohammed, kill, expel, rob Jews, 65, Datul Rik of Nakel Muhammad Robin. 626 Bada 3 Raid Muhammad meet Abu Suffering. 6246 Dumatul Jano place attacked Muhammad Robin. 627 The Trench Medina Muhammad defense in war of aggression. 627 March Bani Karizia Muhammad Rob Jews. 627 Bani Layan place attacked Muhammad Avrenge and Robin. 627 Ban Mustal Mika Muhammad uh, place attacked Muhammad led it killed expel Rob Jews. 627 Kaibar place attacked Muhammad led it kill and slave Rob Jews. 628 Al Hudabir led by Muhammad. War not intended, but perhaps provocation. 629, Kaibar Muhammad, kill, rob, and slave Jews. 6, 630, January Mecca, Muhammad, conquest. 630, Tayyaf, Muhammad, conquest. These are places attacked. Tabuk, Muhammad, 630, Muhammad, preemptive attack. Ooh. So... We didn't even get into a quarter of the scholarship of all the battles and fights. Now I finished my point to say that Jesus saw his mission as one of being crucified for our sins. Uh, if you look at Matthew 27, 25, though they crucified him, Mark 15, 24, when they crucified him, Luke 23, 33, and when they had come to a place called Calvary, though they crucified him, John 19, 23, then the soldiers went, they had crucified Jesus, took his garments. The Quran denies the crucifixion of Jesus, yet the Bible is clear. A centurion officer of over 100 men guarded Jesus as he died on the cross, Matthew 27, 54, when the soldiers who beat Jesus sat and watched him die. Matthew 27, 27, 36 and 36. Chief priests and scribes and elders all watched Jesus die. Matthew 27, 41. Many unnamed women who Jesus had known watched him die. Matthew 27, 55. In John 19, 25, 27, now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas and Mary Madeline. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that uh, the disciple took her to his own. So Jesus uh, saw his ministry as dying for our sin. We see the historical eyewitnesses of the Gospels show Jesus died. We have um, Cornelius Tacitus, respected historian, 155, 120 AD. Uh, said in most mischievous superstition nevertheless Tatus confirmed that this sect was formed from the followers of Christus who suffered the extreme penalty during the reign of Tiberius at the hands of Pontius Pilate the term extreme penalty refers to crucifixion and I, I talked about Jesus dying on a cross in Mark 10 he said I give my life a ransom for many and I said Jesus saw his life as dying for people and rising again to bring salvation to people. It was not about war. And uh, Rashim said, well, Josephus, uh, it's an interpolation when it says about resurrection. And I couldn't tell him the scholarship. I know the scholarship inside and out about Josephus and uh, the statement concerning Jesus' death and resurrection. And I wanted to tell him that most scholars agree that there has been interpolation about the resurrection, although just a point, that most of the manuscripts have that bit about Josephus 
saying that Jesus rose again in the manuscript. So I think actually it's a strong evidence that he did attest to that evidence. But even if we accept it, most scholars say it's been interpolated. But the bit where Josephus says that Christ died under Pontius Pilate, the vast majority of scholars, I mean, most scholars believe that Josephus is accurate what he's saying there, and it's not been interpolated. So uh, Adam was wrong on the scholarship there, but that was a diverting tactic from his point of view. The main issue is I was saying that this historical clear evidence that Jesus saw his life as dying and rising again. And it was not.